Are you tired of this happening while taming a Megalania? My name's Techworsa, and today I'll show you how to tame a Megalania, and if you stick around, I'll tell you a couple of neat things about tamed Megalania. First off, let's prepare. The food you're going to need in order from most effective to least effective. Extraordinary kibble, raw mutton, raw prime meat, raw prime fish meat, cooked lamb chops, cooked prime meat. I would recommend using kibble or raw prime meat. It wouldn't hurt to have some cooked prime meat, just in case. You'll need around 450 narcotics per hour during the tame. At a default taming rate, a level 50 can take between 1 and 4 and a quarter hours, a level 100 can take between 1 and a half and 6 and a quarter hours, a level 150 between 1 and 3 quarters and 8 and a quarter hours. These times are the difference between kibble and raw meat. You'll also want a more abundant food source for the Megalania to consume once it wakes up. The extraordinary egg kibble requires one special egg, 10 mijo berries, one giant bee honey, one Lazarus chowder, five fiber, and one water. If you're playing on the island map, Megalania are solely found latched onto the roof of caves. For this reason alone, they're difficult to tame. Other maps treat their spawns differently. Ragnarok, for example, they spawn fairly commonly on an island on the southern coast of the map. However, I'm going to focus this guide as if you need to extract them from a cave. There are some other things you consider. Since they're a smaller creature, they can be bullied. However, I was having difficulty throwing bullets in the cave. I don't know if this is a problem on my end or with caves in general. You'll also want to use a long neck rifle with a trank darts to knock out the Megalania more quickly. I'll have the coordinates to the cave I'm using on screen now. You'll need to be prepared for whichever cave you need to delve into by bringing whatever environmental protection you may need. You'll also want a fairly tanky mount that can survive in a cave environment. There are plenty of different mounts which could fulfill this. Just keep in mind that caves are fairly cramped. A good rule of thumb is if you can fit your mount through a dinosaur gateway, it may be able to fit in the entrance of the caves. If you're fairly close to the entrance, you should lure the Megalania outside where you can bulla and drink it with no problems. If your settings allow for the carrying of wild creatures, this tame becomes significantly easier. I want to note that this setting is off by default on PvE servers and always on in PvP servers. You can use a Caprosuchus or a Megalosaurus to carry the Megalania out of the cave to a pre-built taming pin. I'm using a Caprosuchus. Use a secondary attack to lunge and grapple or the crouch button to just grapple. Also, don't be like me and make your taming pen out of wood. Megalania can easily chew through wood. You can also pick up a Megalania with a Pteranodon. This doesn't really help all that much if you're trying to get one out of a cave, mainly because you can't ride flyers into caves at all. However, if your settings allow for it, you can grab one and take it back to a pre-built taming pen. Whichever way you decide to use, pelt the Megalania with Trank ammo until it's unconscious.
put your food of choice and narcotics in its inventory and maintain its so poor so it doesn't wake up until it's tamed. If this video is helpful, make sure you like and share it. Your support really helps out the channel. Now for the neat facts that I promised earlier. You can learn the Megalania Saddle Ingram at level 73 and craft it in a smithy with hide, fiber, and metal ingots. Their primary attack is a standard bite attack. They're able to scale walls and climb on ceilings. Use the secondary attack to toggle climbing mode on and off. Jump can also be used to toggle climbing mode off if you're attached to a wall. You can use weapons while riding in Megalania. You can find two Megalania Toxin in the inventory of any Megalania that you kill, tame, or hatch. It is used as a tribute to summon bosses. Megalania eggs are used in the superior egg kibble along with two citronelle, two rare mushrooms, one prime meat jerky, one sap, five fiber, and one water. There is an aberrant form of the Megalania which exists in the game files, however it does not naturally spawn in the game on any map so far. If you've made it this far into the video, you either enjoy my videos or you're watching on autoplay. Either way, I do feel like I should offer an explanation as to why my ARC videos have been delayed. In short, I was having hardware issues which would cause my computer to have a blue screen crash every few hours. This has been an ongoing problem for about a year, maybe a year and a half, but it had got so much worse about a month ago. When I would play ARK, in most cases, my computer would crash before I could load into single player, and if I actually made it into the map, my computer would crash after about 10 minutes. I narrowed down the problem to the RAM slots on my motherboard. Since that motherboard is a 5-year-old motherboard with a similar age CPU, upgrading was really my only option. This meant replacing motherboard, CPU, RAM modules, and while I was at it, my case as well. I spent a couple of days shopping and over two weeks waiting for all my parts to come in. The footage from Terraria is pre-recorded and I have about 50 hours left to split into episodes and Subnautica didn't trigger the blue screen crash as frequently as Ark did, so I was able to record and publish an episode of that. Regardless, my computer's upgraded and I'm not having problems recording Ark. Well, for now at least. I'm hoping to get back on a more regular schedule for ARK again along with putting out Subnautica and Terraria until I'm done with those games. That's all I've got for today, thank you guys so very much for watching, and have yourselves a very good day.